Today I'm making banana and Nutella crepes. So fantastic. And the great thing about crepes is they're completely make ahead. Start by blending together one and a half cups of milk, one cup of flour, four large eggs. They're really cool, they're really elegant, and yet no one knows quite how easy they are to make. So it can be our little secret. <laughs> I'm using my proper method today, cracking my eggs into a bowl first. Most of the time I just bypass that. Everything just goes right into a blender. Three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, puree or blend everything. All right, that's it, it's done. It needs to rest a little bit, at least 15 minutes at room temperature or up to overnight in the refrigerator. That makes for the most tender crepes. I think that you could probably just go ahead and cook them, that they won't be as fantastic. So go ahead and give yourself the time and let them sit. I mean, it is really great because you can do it the day before. When your batter has had time to rest, you can cook your crepes. Now, this is another thing that you can do a day ahead if you wanted to, because you can cook all your crepes and you can stack them up and then wrap them really well and use them the next day. You can even freeze them if you want to, which is kind of cool. Or you can make them a la minute. Brush a nonstick pan with butter. This is a 10 inch skillet. And then add about a third of a cup of batter per crepe and then just swirl your pan around. This might have been a slightly too much batter. You can actually pour some of it out if you want to, to get a nice thin one. And then you just let it sit there and cook. All right, so this will have a funny edge. That's okay. Gotta get the hang of it. It's like pancakes. These are pancakes after all. The first one, often a failure. <laughs> let them completely set. The edges are turning sort of a little bit golden brown. And then when they're ready to turn, you can do it with your fingers, which is what I usually do. Just take it and then flip it over. You can just slide them out onto a plate. A little more butter. You don't want your pan to get too hot so that the butter browns, so you can adjust your heat as necessary. I have it on about a medium high right now. You can master the swirling and pouring at the same time technique. That's pretty awesome. So I would say, depending on the size of your pan, this is a 10 inch skillet. So I'm using really about a quarter of a cup of batter. If you were making a larger one in 12 inch, you could use a third of a cup. Flip. All right, now for the fun. I promised bananas and Nutella and that's what I shall deliver. <laughs> Peel your bananas. Of course, this is not the most healthful breakfast. I know that, but it is kind of fun. You can always replace the Nutella with a little bit of unsweetened peanut butter. A little drizzle of honey would be nice, or a few smears of cream cheese. Take a crepe. Spread some Nutella on it. When I was growing up, you couldn't really get Nutella in the United States. I mean, maybe you could, but it wasn't that common. Now you can get it everywhere, but that's not what it was like when I was a kid. <laughs> the olden days. Fold. You really want to go crazy, actually, before you do that second fold. A little bit more Nutella. A little more banana. Boom. Done. So whip up a batch of these crepes and enjoy your new year. New year, new you. <laughs> Chocolate for breakfast every day.